drop a like and sub in the next five seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. The new Fortnite update is finally here. We're going to be going over everything that is included in it from the release of the brand new Spider-Man Miles Morales outfit and much, much more. That we are going to be going over here in today's video, so trust me, you want to make sure you are staying tuned to the very end of it as we're going to be going over everything. And to kick it all off, obviously we do know we're going to be getting the final batch of the Star Wars quest, so obviously you guys will be able to get all of the final set of rewards that we can see on the Star Wars Battle Pass, such as the brand new free Clone Trooper Alpha, and obviously if you did buy the Premium Pass, you will now be able to get the brand new Darth Maul skin. And with this now being confirmed to be the final update we're going to be receiving here in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 before we get the release of the brand new season on June 9th, there is still a possibility we could be seeing all of the live event game files added with this brand new patch, considering we do know there's earthquakes ongoing on the Fortnite Island right now. I believe right now we are on Stage 3 with there being a total of 5 different stages with the final stage being codenamed Apocalyptic, which means we could be seeing different locations around the Fortnite Island being destroyed when these brand new earthquakes obviously happen in game and this is obviously to build up the release of Fortnite chapter 4 season 3 considering we do know we're going to be getting a brand new jungle biome next season along with a brand new volcano location as we have had tons of leaks about that already over the past few weeks which is honestly pretty cool but just quickly obviously we get five new and all subscribers every single day here on the channel so if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift all you have to do is drop a like on this video make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and if you have been picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself to consider using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile hashtag ad. But obviously one of the biggest additions with the release of the brand new Fortnite update is the fact that we're going to be seeing the addition of Spider-Man Miles Morales for the release of the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie which this collab has actually been in the works for quite a while now considering we obviously did have Spider-Gwen in the chapter 3 season 4 battle pass and with this brand new update she will be making a return to the Fortnite island in the form of a brand new NPC that we will actually be able to buy some brand new mythic web shooters from. Which is definitely pretty cool and are obviously either gonna be Spider Gwen's or even Miles Morales' himself for the last few weeks of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2, which is definitely pretty cool anyways considering we obviously have the mythic ODM gear as well in the game, which is more or less just a reskin version of the previous web shooters that we had all the way back in Chapter 3. But it turns out there's actually going to be all new free rewards that you will be able to get as a part of this brand new collaboration as we've had everything leaked about it, which is the fact that there's going to be two skins being codenamed Fearless Fly Hero and Fearless Flight Menace that will be coming alongside with a back bling each, a pickaxe each and also a brand new emo. And there's also said to be a brand new spray and an emoticon for all of these cosmetics with some brand new challenges we will be able to complete in game in order to earn some of these cosmetics for free. Which is definitely pretty cool considering we did have leaked to us ages ago that we should have actually seen Miles Morales get his very own skin cup which is still a big possibility. But for the two skins that we're going to be seeing is obviously going to be Spider-Man Miles Morales himself which is pretty obvious alongside with Spider-Man 2099 who is obviously a big character in the new upcoming movie who I definitely do think looks pretty cool as well considering we did actually have the reveal of him on a Marvel Zero War comic book cover as well all the way back a year ago and he's finally going to be making his way into the game for the release of the upcoming movie itself. So I'm really excited to see what all of these brand new cosmetics look like so be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be needing any of the brand new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse skins as we will be gifting out tons of subscribers every single day that they're available inside of the item shop. But obviously another big addition arriving with a brand new update is going to be the arrival of Ranked Play which is actually going to be replacing the Arena mode. As it looks like Arena will actually be removed with the next Fortnite update which is honestly crazy considering we've had Arena ever since Chapter 1. But what's good about this is the fact that if you do actually play in this brand new Ranked mode there will be seasonal rewards that you will be able to get depending on what division you were obviously in. Which I'm guessing the best divisions will obviously get the better rewards with the final rank obviously being called Unreal. So I definitely will be trying that out considering there's going to be free rewards involved and as well as that I haven't actually played the arena mode in years now. So be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for it. But we've also had some major leaks as well about the very end of Fortnite Chapter 4 as it looks like Epic Games are already working on the end live event for the Chapter 4 Island. Which is currently scheduled to actually happen November 30th which means we should be getting the release of Fortnite Chapter 5 most likely on December 1st. Which is honestly just crazy to think about considering we're going to be getting a brand new Fortnite 
map every single year. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for that, considering we've only really gotten the Chapter 4 island so far. And also be sure to let me know down in the comments what is your favourite Fortnite island that we've had in the game. But we should also be seeing the addition of some brand new Star Wars skins as well that will be made available inside of the item shop, such as the addition of Emperor Palpatine. As we currently actually have the Order 66 event happening in-game already, where you obviously will notice all of the clone troopers will instantly try and attack you. And it is heavily rumoured that the two skins we're actually going to be seeing is actually going to be Emperor Palpatine himself with a brand new lightsaber available in game. Along with another droid skin who is obviously from Star Wars as well, which definitely would be pretty cool considering that means we obviously have the clones and also the droids. Because keep in mind we still have a mythic lightsaber inside of the game files that will actually have a brand new force lightning ability. Which is obviously known to be used by Emperor Palpatine in all of the movies. So that's definitely going to be pretty cool and another fun ability that we will be able to use at the very end of Season 2. We honestly have so many different types of mythic items in the game so far already. Such as lightsabers, the ODM gear, the thunder spears and we also will be getting the web shooters back. But we are super close to the release of the brand new season of Fortnite as I believe we're only about 3 weeks away. Which we do know tons about the new season such as the addition of the brand new first person mode which will be finally making its way into the game. As they are still testing out different things inside of the game files. Such as the addition of brand new weapon attachments that we will be able to put on all of our different guns. So it is looking like the first person mode is going to be very in depth and it's definitely going to be along the lines of Call of Duty's gunsmith. Where obviously we can put different attachments on our weapons which obviously will make them perform better or potentially even worse. This is definitely going to be pretty cool for all of the Fortnite Creative 2.0 maps that we have in the game considering we're going to have a full first person mode in the game available and ready to use. When it comes to the live event we should be seeing at the very end of this season it most likely will result in the Fortnite island splitting into two different parts as this was actually teased to us all the way back in season 1. When Rift Warden Stellan was actually warning us if we do actually activate the Rift Gate it would cause the island to split into two which is likely what is going on on the island right now with all of these different cracks actually showing up across the map which is definitely pretty cool so fingers crossed they don't scrap the live event and we just get some sort of cutscene when we get the release of season 3 seeing as how we obviously have not seen a live event at all on the chapter 4 island considering we normally get the very first live event in season 2 but on the topic of all of these different marvel collaborations arriving in the game it also is said that we're going to be seeing the release of a brand new marvel zero war comic book which is going to be very similar to that one issue we did get for the batman comics where you were able to get the batman who laughs skin by redeeming the code at the very end of it. Hopefully this will give us some information about what is going on with the members of the Seven and the overall Fortnite storyline considering the storyline is definitely a big mess right now. And obviously with the release of that brand new Fortnite Marvel comic book that will also mean another Marvel skin that you will be able to redeem on your Fortnite account. Which is definitely pretty cool and the chances are it could even be Shuri as she was heavily involved in that comic book and she didn't actually get a skin. We will have to wait and see as I believe that comic book should be releasing in the next month or two. But that is currently everything we do know about the final update inside of season 2 and unfortunately that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's one. If you did watch the video all the way to the very end be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new and thanks for watching.